Hey everyone, today we're going to learn how to do advanced troubleshooting on your DR Power Grader. If you haven't yet, be sure to check out the basic troubleshooting video first. In order to perform this series of steps, you're going to need a test light. These can usually be purchased at most any hardware store for less than $10. With a new test light, they're usually pretty dull, so you may need to take a file and sharpen the probe end of it to make it easier to probe into a wire. If at some point during the troubleshooting you probe into a wire and you don't get a light, try it again because maybe you didn't probe deep enough, uh, so you want to make sure you're getting a good connection. After you try again, if you still don't get a light, the component between the last two points checked is likely going to be the cause of your power grader not functioning properly. First, we're going to test the negative wire. To do so, use the alligator clip from your test light and connect it to the positive terminal on your battery. The negative wire between your 4-pin connector and your receiver will either be blue or black depending on your model. Either way, it'll be directly next to the red wire in your 4-pin connector. Let's go ahead and probe into that to see if we have a connection. If you don't get a light here, then there's an issue with connection in your 4-pin connector. If you do get a light here, we know our negative wire is good, so we're going to go ahead and move our alligator clips to the negative terminal. Now we're going to test the positive circuit. First, we'll check to see if we're getting connection across our fuse holder. We'll want to probe in between the fuse holder and the 4-pin connector. Next, we'll probe between the 4-pin connector and our receiver to make sure we're getting connection across our 4-pin connector with our positive wire. Next, we'll test the wire next to the white wire in between the 4-pin connector and the receiver. We'll do this exactly as we've done in previous steps except this time you're going to want to probe and then press each of the buttons on the transmitter. If neither of these buttons gives you a light, you know your transmitter or receiver need to be replaced. Now we're going to do the same thing we just did, only with the white wire this time. If you've gotten a light in all the previous steps of this video, the final step is going to be to jump across the 4-pin connector and test the blue and the brown wire. We're going to do this exactly the way we tested the two previous wires, by probing into the wire and then depressing each of the buttons on the remote. If you do get a light in this step, then we know you're getting connection across the 4-pin connector and your actuator is defective. If you don't get a light in this step, then we know we're not getting connection across the 4-pin connector. Once you've diagnosed where you're not getting connection within your electrical circuit on your power grader, feel free to give our tech support department a call and we'll be glad to help you out.